Hey, y'all, what's going on? It's India with I Delgado Productions. And today I am bringing to you another tutorial video. And I actually did a collaboration with one of my really good friends, Robert Kennedy III. And we are walking you through the process of a program called Loopback Audio. If you're an Ecamm Live user, setting that up and then bringing that all into Zoom. So what does this do for you? Loopback Audio creates virtual microphones. And so what happens is when you have programs like OBS or programs like Ecamm Live, they give you a virtual camera so that you can create a production, right? You can create something that looks really great, have your logos on the screen. If you have a background, some overlays and things like that, and you can send out some great content to your Zoom viewers, viewers and your Zoom audience. But then if you're using Ecamm Live, there's no virtual microphone feature. So what happens is that if you bring in some sound effects or if you bring in a video file or an audio file, or if you're using Ecamm Live, you have your guest that you can bring in and that all gets lost in translation. Loopback Audio creates a virtual microphone the same way Ecamm and OBS create virtual cameras. And it basically takes all of the sound that you're bringing in to Ecamm or from your computer, it combines that into a virtual microphone and now you can send that out into your presentations such as Zoom so that your participants and your audience in Zoom can now see something great through a virtual camera as well as hear everything and it's all collected into one. So in our video today, we walk you through the setup of Loopback. We walk you through the setup of what that looks like on Ecamm Live. And then we also take it a step further and we do a live demo of bringing that all into a Zoom call where RK3 brings in his brother. We come on, I come in as a guest through Ecamm interview mode and you see how it all ties in. So let's get right into it. So pretty much what we're going to do is we need to create... Um, we're trying to set this up so that you can go into Zoom using interview mode, yeah. but also so that the person that is in the interview in Ecamm can hear the people inside of Zoom. Right. So what we need to do essentially is we need to set up two virtual microphones okay. that will go kind of, will go both ways. We'll kind of do like the circle, right? Yeah. So the first virtual microphone that we set up is literally already set up for you inside of Loopback. Right. Okay, Loopback sets up this default microphone with a pass through and you don't need to do anything else. So as a matter of fact, the only thing I want you to do is at the top where it says Loopback Audio, yeah. I want you to change that name, click the pencil, beside the loopback audio in the main window and change that name to Ecamm Virtual Mic. Okay. Boom. So you're all set. Mm -hmm. Now you need to create a second microphone. So go down to the bottom and create a new virtual mic. Perfect. So this one, we're going to call this one Zoom Interview Mic. Now click on the pass through and delete that. Perfect. So now we're going to need to put two sources in here. We're going to need to put in Number one, the main mic that you use. And number okay. two, the Zoom audio. Okay. So go to your sources and put your mic in. So I use the Rodecaster Pro. You can see all your audio devices here. My mic is going through the Rodecaster. So we're going to select that. Yep. All right. So now you need to add a second source and we're going to add Zoom into your into your system here. So go to the sources. Yep. And then you want to choose Zoom.us if it's not already running, then you would have just chosen select application and you would have found Zoom in your applications, wherever it is. Okay. Yep. There we go. All right. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So now one more important step yep. down at the bottom of the zoom.us uh, dialogue there, click on the options yep. and then uncheck where it says mute while capturing. All right. Uncheck that. Yeah. And you want to you want to uncheck that because um, if there is something else that is moving at the same time or capturing audio at the same time, you won't be able to hear it because okay. it's automatically muting it. All gotcha. right. So this okay. is all we this is all we need to set up. 
Okay. Right. So we're literally done with setting up our loop back stuff. So now we need to go into two places. Okay. We need to go into Ecamm and Zoom. Okay. So um, let's go to Zoom. Let's go to Zoom first. All right. So on in Zoom, go down to where your microphones are, mm -hmm. your microphone settings. Yep. And click that. And for your microphone, you want to choose Ecamm live ecam v mic so that's the virtual mic that we set up so not the speaker the microphone not, ECAM. not the speaker Got it. yep okay yeah okay ecam v mic so here's the reason why you're choosing that we're trying to get all of the sound inside of ecam will come into zoom at this point so people that are attending via zoom will be able to hear it okay all right yep so that's the first step so let's go to um Ecamm live and you can put that on live demo mode so we can see what you're doing. All right. We are in live demo mode. So now there are two things that you need to do inside of Ecamm. So if you go to your output tab. Okay. Over here. You want to. Yep. You want to make sure that your audio monitor is set to Ecamm V mic. Okay. So it's going to be choosing the same thing. Correct. Okay. So your audio monitor is sending, your monitor is sending stuff out into the VCAM, Ecamm VMIC. Because you remember, we set that up as a pass-through. Right. Right. So it's just it's just sending it out to the VMIC. And then Zoom is now bringing that information in from the VMIC. Okay. So the second thing that you want to do is in your sound levels option, where you choose your microphone. Down here. Yep. Yep. Yes. You want to choose Zoom interview mic as your as your microphone. Now, yours, I think you have to turn something on and off. I forgot what it is. Yeah. So let's just go um, back but, to um, loopback. So I have to turn off Zoom interview mic. Yep. And then turn it back, turn on, it back on and it should show yep. up. So let me minimize, actually. And now we're yep. going to go back. To sound levels. Oh, to sound levels. Show yep. up. And you, yep. That you want to choose that. Okay. Okay. Yep. So here's what here's what's happening now. Now what you set up is that any sound that is in Zoom is going to be coming into Ecamm right along with your regular microphone that you use inside of Ecamm. Okay. All right. So now we are in Zoom. Sheldon, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can. Drinking water, of course. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Good. So it, people that you're, you're on YouTube, you should be able to hear Sheldon and you should be able to hear us clearly, both myself and India. So yep. we'll just kind of recap what we did. Yep. All right. So we did, we, we created two virtual mics. So if you want to flip back over to Zoom, to loop back yep. real quick. So we created two virtual mics. Uh, we created the Ecamm V mic. Click on that, which is the, just the pass through microphone. Yep. This one. And here. then we created the Zoom interview mic where we brought in the Zoom application as a source and also her microphone, right? And then inside of Zoom, we selected the Ecamm V mic as our microphone, okay? Because that is coming out of Ecamm right. through the audio monitor. And then we selected Zoom interview mic as our input microphone into Ecamm. All right. So we've got that circle happening there. And so, as you see, we're able to hear each other clearly. Yep. And that's it. Yep. Pretty simple. And so what we're doing is we're using Ecamm Live as the actual host. So that's how you see mm -hmm. the overlay with myself and then Robert right below and then his brother this way. <laughs> in that direction, right? So I'm in, I'm in here, don't worry about it, I'm in here. <laughs> He's coming in through Zoom, and then Robert came yeah. in through my interview link. So now, if you have a guest and you're trying to remote produce a show using Ecamm Live, and you wanna take advantage of your overlays, your scenes, anything like that, you can produce your entire show, make it look great and professional in Ecamm Live, and then bring your guest in, through Ecamm Live, and then from that 
you can take the way we just took this exact scene, send this into Zoom, and now the Zoom participants can, you know, communicate back and forth between the guest and Zoom, and everyone can hear each other. And the most important thing is that there is no echo, because that's, I think, the biggest thing, right, RK3, that everybody yeah. keeps talking about, yeah. is that people do this, and then there's always an echo, because they're either usually duplicating a mic somewhere, they're not turning something off somewhere else, and so with this super simple setup, and We'll just go back to the scene. You know, with this super simple setup, you can see there's two applications. RK3, why don't you tell them, so what if they want to bring in, let's say something from Chrome or another application into Zoom, what do they need to do? So in this case, you're saying you want to bring in a sound from uh, Chrome, like sound from a video or something, and right. you want to bring that into Zoom. Right. What I would do in that case, you can literally add another um, source into that Zoom interview mic. Right. So in here, so we have the Zoom interview mic selected, and then yeah. the same way we so added you can go Zoom, to your sources. Right. Yep. Here. Yeah. Okay. You can, yeah, you can just add your browser there. So Google Chrome. And right. so whatever's playing inside of Google Chrome, whatever's playing inside of Zoom will go into the, to Ecamm. Your, your interview person will be able to hear it and the people inside of Zoom will be able to hear it as well. Right, exactly. And then the most important thing is that if you do add additional sources here, you want to make sure you, you always, right, always uncheck this mute. If you leave the mute when capturing the, what whatever's in Google Chrome will play, but you won't be able to hear the microphone. Right, me. You won't so be able to if hear you're, me. If you're, yeah. All right, I got to go back to my writing. <laughs> All right, brother. Uh, All right, homie. All right, enjoy. Thank you. Yes, um, Nice meeting you. you. Likewise. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank enjoy. you. Enjoy. That's it. That's no, it. No, thank you so much yeah. for helping me. I appreciate you. It's all set up. I'm now with my Mac Mini. I am back to normal, back in business. So I appreciate you. If there's anything I yeah. can do for you, let me know. And thank absolutely, you. absolutely. I uh, hope this. Hopefully, this was helpful for everybody. I know that sometimes you're trying to figure out little things like this, and you can pull your hair out. That's why I ain't got none. Um, <laughs> So <laughs> trying to figure this out. So hopefully this was helpful to somebody and it was um, a hair saving mechanism. Absolutely. Let us right. know. Leave us some comments. Yeah.